Hi guys, Miss Tracy again. Welcome to grade school TLG at home grade school lesson two, part two. For this, you are going to need a stool or a chair, step stool, anything like that'll work. Um, you don't want it so low that you can't sit on it, but you also don't want it so high that you can literally just like sit on it like that. So I picked my stool that got paint and everything all over it. My step stool here that we use all the time. I'm just going to kind of set it to the side here for now. And you're also going to need a wall that you guys can put your feet up against. So mine's going to be back in this corner over here. And you guys can ask your parents which wall it's okay for, for you to put your feet up against. Hopefully you're not doing it while you have your shoes on. It's probably going to leave some marks on your wall. So make sure you guys only have your socks or no socks. Just barefoot. That's totally fine. Unless you have stinky feet. A little gross. But anyways, uh, find a safe wall for you guys to put your feet up on. Make sure mom and dad are okay with it. And we're going to play a cool game that you... They, they say you need dice, but I couldn't find dice anywhere in my house. So I have... The spinner from one of my favorite board games ever, Life. And it's pretty much the same thing. It just only goes to 10 instead of 12, like a pair of dice would. So I figured we could use this because, you know, improvising when you got what you got, that's what you got. Um, also make sure that you have enough room above you. Uh, we are going to be doing something called tight frog jumps. I don't have very high ceilings and you guys can't see, but there is a ceiling fan above me. So I'm probably not going to be jumping as high as I usually would in, say, the gym. So hopefully you guys have enough room that you're able to jump your hardest. If not, make sure you're not jumping so high that you're hitting ceiling fans or anything up there. Okay? So what we're going to do is I am going to, we're going to play some music. And you guys can run or do jumping jacks. And then when I say freeze, I'm going to spin my spinner. And it's going to tell, tell you how many repetitions or sets you have to do, and I'm gonna tell you which exercise to do. So for example, if I say freeze and I spin the spinner and it says six, and I tell you to do some chair sits, what you're gonna do is come over to your chair and you're gonna go one, two, three, and you're gonna do that six times. If it says six and I tell you to do wall handstands, you're gonna go over to the wall and do a handstand and you're gonna hold it for six seconds. And then the other one that we're doing that I will demonstrate real quick is called the tight frog jumps that I told you about. And same thing, if it comes up with six, what we're gonna do, we're gonna stand with our feet about shoulder width apart, squat down like a little frog, rip it, rip it. And we're going to do hop up, really tight body, high as we can. Nice and strong. We'll do six of those. Like if it lands on six, two if it lands on two, ten if it lands on ten. So, and in between those, I want you guys to be kind of running in place or do some jumping jacks, whatever you want to do in the middle of that, okay? All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Okay, we're gonna do chair sits first, and we are gonna do eight of them. All right, let's do them together. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, guys, remember. Go at your own pace. Don't feel like you have to go at the pace that I'm going. If you only got in five chair sits or something, or two chair sits, or if you got in 10 or 12 chair sits because you're going a little faster than me, as long as you have good form and you are doing your best, that is awesome. You guys do not have to be the best. You just want to do your best. That's the goal here. As long as you are doing your personal best, that is what we want. So let's do... Some more music. It's what right place this time. Oh, jog. Nice jog. Freeze. And this time we're going to do some frog jumps. Oh, only one. 
Ready? Down. One. You can go a little faster. Freeze. Wall handstand for eight seconds. You ready? Here we go. I'm going to go up here for eight seconds. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, guys. Do those high knees again. Frog jumps again since we only got one. Three. Ready? One. Two. Three. frog jumps. Nine frog jumps this time. All right, you guys. Let's try and count them out together. You ready? We can do this. Me and you. Nine frog jumps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Woo, that was tough. Okay, let's do a nice march again. Freeze. Let's do one more wall handstand. For five seconds. That's not too bad. We can do that. All right, guys, you ready? Get in your wall, get in position. One, two, three, four, five. Woo. Oh man, you guys. You guys did awesome. So proud of you. So if you guys want to play that game at home, you can have mom or dad roll the dice for you. You can play with a brother and sister, take turns rolling the dice, or if you don't have any dice, maybe find something that spins like this and has numbers on it. That works too. Make sure you don't have something that only has like goes up to three or four though. You want something that goes up to a pretty high number. Like this goes up to 10. Whew. So guys, your outside practice, you know, Everything we're doing is outside. Your outside practice for this week is to try and do those tight frog jumps that we practiced. Do that with the whole family and send us a picture of it. Send us a picture of your entire family doing those tight frog jumps. We would love to see that. Guys, I really appreciate you joining us for the, the little gym at home grade school lesson plan number two. Whew. So we usually do a chant. What do you think our chant should be tonight? How about grade school rocks my socks off? All right, hands in. Ready? One, two, three. Grade school rocks my socks off! Woo! Let's go get stamps. If you have stamps, you can put stamps on yourself. I trust that you guys all did the best that you possibly could. Until I get to see you guys again, I'll miss you. Bye.